And now I will raise a new case of asylum seeker in Turkey. Effectively, since May of this year, over 100 Ahmadis from various countries where they were heavily persecuted have been detained by the Turkish authorities in the Eden Immigration Detention Center. They want to apply for asylum in a new country. Those people from the Ahmadi Religious of Peace and Light do not want to stay in Turkey, another Muslim majority country where people also consider them as fidels and treat them as such. Because of this social stigmatization, their life in the Eden detention camp is over is even under threats. They should be evacuated from it as soon as possible and granted humanitarian asylum visas so they can legally enter the EU and start their asylum procedure there. The Ahmadi detainees are living in an inhuman condition. 10, 15 adult and children held together in spaces of less than 35 square meters. One single bathroom available for all of them, insufficient water and soap supplies, and no hygiene pads for menstruation to women. No sexual activities for, for children is available. At the last few years, members of the Ahmadi religion of peace and light have been supported by Amnesty International, Human Rights Without Frontier, Freedom House, CAP Freedom of Conscience, the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, USCF, the Border Violence Monitoring Network, and the Peter Tatchell Foundation. On 4 July 2023, Special Rapporteur on, on Freedom of Religion or Believe, Special Rapporteur on the Human Rights of Migrants, Working Group on Unarbitrary Detentions, and the Special Rapporteur on Minority Issue, Kusain on April, addressed to Turkish authorities asking them not to deport the Ahmadi asylum seeker. What they want is to reach European Union and to apply for asylum in various of its member states where they have some family or where they can rely on the assistance of institutions run by local communities of the Ahmadi religion. Since they are currently in de facto detention, asylum humanitarian visas through Europe consulates in Turkey are the only way available to them now to safeguard their rights to freedom of religion and their rights to life and freedom from inhuman and degrading treatments. Thank you very much.